Why were Soviet nuclear physicists forbidden to drive cars and fly airplanes? After the end of World War II, the Cold War era began. Nuclear weapons became crucial. Beria's order of 1948 forbade nuclear physicists of the so-called Laboratory II to drive a car on their own. At that time, scientists did not have personal cars, and only professional chauffeurs could drive official cars. So the chauffeurs, who would agree to give the control of the car to the scientist, were threatened with criminal liability. Nuclear scientists were also not recommended to fly on airplanes. If scientists had to travel long distances on official business, they traveled by rail, and there was always a separate carriage for them, in which there were no other passengers. If official necessity left no other option but the airplane, it was not allowed to have two or more scientists on the same board, and the reason for Beria's order was a case, which occurred in the closed city of Ozersk. Igor Panasiak persuaded his driver to let him drive. As a result, there was an accident in which Panasiak was badly injured. At that time, nuclear physicists were worth their weight in gold.